Hey, welcome back to another episode of your review channel. This video is all about the Nikon F. Yes, F is in the first one. That's correct. 1960, this was built. I got this at an estate sale. Stay tuned. You're going to find out what I paid and what it's worth. For now, let's go and break it down and see how it works. Thanks for subscribing and let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of your review channel. I have, I have something here very different and interesting to share with you. Um, I was out uh, at an estate sale and I picked up this really awesome camera. So if you don't know anything about cameras at all, anytime you see something that looks like this, okay, this is a Nikon F series camera. I believe it's the first model they came out with. I think this is from 1960, which pretty much makes this 60 years old. Okay, it's got the original lens that came with it. It is in excellent, excellent condition, okay? Everything works on this camera. I just wanna go over this with you. I wanna just take it apart and show you. Um, so if you pick up one of these cameras and you're not sure about it, just to give you a couple of different ideas how to remove things. Okay, so let's start with that. So the first thing you wanna do is just remove the lens. So to remove the lens on this camera, there's a little button over here on the side. You press the button down, and you basically twist the lens, the whole, grab the whole lens in the body, and you'll see it twists off, okay? And that's how you remove a lens on this specific camera. So just so you know, there's a little button over here, okay? So again, to put it back on, same thing, you line up. So there's this little, like that, you can see it just falls in, and then when you twist it on, you'll hear a snap. And that's, knows it's locked. Again, to remove it, you hold the button down, and you just twist it, and that's how the lens comes off, okay? Very, very easy. So I got this camera, like I said, I got this at an estate sale. And stay tuned at the end of this video and I'll tell you how much I paid for this and I'll tell you how much it's worth, okay? This is super, super cool. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below. Uh, that does help support what I'm doing so I can bring these videos to you and show you um, the cool things that I find and how they work and how they function. So if you ever find one of these and, and you don't know how to use it or something, if you're trying to figure out if it works, then that's what these videos are for. So one cool thing here, okay? So this is the meter. So this has a meter on top here. So uh, and the meter, this meter does work, okay? These things are workhorses. If you find one of these, don't be afraid to pay $60, $70, honestly. Even if you get them for 100 it's a great deal. These are very, very highly collectible and highly sought after by a lot of collectors. Uh, so the main thing, so I always, I try to figure out how to get this top off and I couldn't figure it out. I hit this button and it, and, it's, and it wouldn't come off. I'm pulling and I'm pulling on this thing and it just wouldn't come off. So there's two buttons you have to hit, okay? And it's very hard to find the information online, so I'm gonna make this video and just show you how this works. So you press down, you decompress this there, and you can see the latches, they move, okay? So that takes the mount up the, up the front of the camera here. That, take, that removes the mount. And there's batteries in here, and I'll show you what the batteries are. And there's a little button right back here. So you have to press this button really hard with your fingernail to get it in there. So let's see, so you have to press it in really hard, and it, it loosens, uh, it's like a, probably a latch in there. And when you loosen that button, let's see what happens. You gotta really press it hard and it releases it, okay? So that's how you do it. Hit that button here really hard, okay? You gotta press it and wick it hard, okay? And then you got this latch here. This latch here goes back and forth, so you can hopefully you can see. So that latch grabs the front. And here's the glass prism, so you can see here, okay? And there's a meter in here, so then when you take photographs, uh, actually, you can read the light and adjust your, your your camera settings and so forth. And there's a couple little, two little batteries in here. Okay, so I replaced these batteries. I put two brand new batteries in it, and this does work. So you know, and so you two little batteries. You can just take this and un, un, unscrew with your hand or a small screwdriver. And you can see these two button batteries here that you'll see here. I'll show you these, and I'll leave a link below where you can get these batteries. These are special batteries. They're not that cheap, but you know what? You do need them. And they go in a certain way, and there's two of them in this specific camera. Okay, so you put two fresh batteries in, and this puppy works. These things, like I said, these are like, these last forever. These, these are great cameras. Like, again, I believe this one is from 1960. Uh, there's two different versions. This is the chrome version, and they also have a black version from what I've seen online, from what I've read. Okay, so get that battery in, give it a little turn, and then you just pop this back on here. So you'll see where this uh, selector is here for your speed, film speed, okay? If you can see that, and this little notch will actually line up into that and pops right in, and that and that controls that that um, selector switch. And to get it back on, be careful and just kind of line it back up and just push it down really easy. And let's see, hopefully you can see me doing it. Yep. Okay, and that just falls in. So once you get it, it'll fall in, and these things will lock right back into place here, so you can see. Okay, you just push it down with your finger, and you hear that little snap, and that's all set to go. And this meter, like I said, it does work. Uh, 
another side note when you put the battery in make sure it's tight get a little screwdriver or get something that you know you can get it snug because uh, finger tight when you finger tighten this is not enough you need to just get a little, a little screwdriver and just snug it up make sure it's tight and the prism works perfectly in this one here you just press a little button down you can see it moving I probably can't see it but there you go if you can get an idea there yeah it's hard to see but you press the button and it moves all right and then you just snap it back on like I showed you and let's get to the rest of this camera hey guys hope you're enjoying the video I hope I'm bringing you some value please don't forget to subscribe it does help me out quite a bit it does help support my channel let's get back into the video and please enjoy okay so the next thing so I showed you how to take off the lens I showed you how to take off the prism here at the top in this beautiful Nikon camera also has a timer on here so the way to use the timer just pull it all the way time down the bottom cock, cock the lens cock the, the uh, camera so you cock it press this little button here and then you can hear it hear the timer clicking I gotta figure it out myself there's so many different things this camera is so cool and when I hit the bottom you'll see what happens it'll shutter it'll go off there you go so it has a built-in timer okay this is the old school stuff this works still works this is a fantastic camera so the old so the new cameras today the old, the newer 35 millimeter this body opens up this way but this one does not open up you have to open it from the bottom so there's an actually bottom screw here right and this is a, a beast a heavy camera too as well so this is a nice quality so you turn this knob okay this way it says open and close so you go to the open section and you just pull this back off this back just slides open just like that and very easy you put your film in here Okay, and then you roll, rack it over here, and then you pretty much rack your film that way. And that's how you load this camera, okay? And you can see, I'll, I'll open it up, and you can see how the, the uh, shutter works. You can see that. See that? Let me show you again. One more time. So you can see this camera has a nice, nice sound. It doesn't stick at all. It's clean as a whistle. And to get it back on, all you do is slide it back up, turn this knob back again, lock it in position, and this is it. You are ready to go. So that's it. I hope you um, learned how to take apart this camera. The lens, the actual the uh, the actual meter itself comes off, and the back. Okay, and that's all there is. Two, the, the two batteries in there. Again, I'll leave a link down below. Any questions or comments, leave down below, guys. If you have any questions on this camera at all, um, if something else that I, that I didn't go over with you, or if you're not sure about something, let me know. I'm not a camera expert, uh, but I've been around cameras for a long time, and this is a really really nice camera. Okay, so now don't forget to like and share and subscribe, most important. So here's the fun part, okay? I got this camera at an estate sale. And I asked the gentleman, I said, how much do you want for this camera? He says, can you do five? I'm thinking 500. He says, I said, how much? He goes, can you do five bucks? I said, sure. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in here real quick. So I'm doing a real quick search and wanted to show you what I was talking about, the price points, okay? So it's a Nikon F Photo Mic, or Mic, Mic, whatever they're calling. Um, this is the model of the, of the camera. And I just basically searched in uh, Nikon F and just brought up kind of uh, what kind of camera it was and kind of pinpointed it. So here are the price points, like I was telling you. So here we go. Here's one with the box, okay? And these are the black ones I was telling you about. You can see the black ones. This is without the lens, so you can find the black one. It's even, even more. It's really kind of cool. So here's one with the box with the lens. This is what they got here. And this is without a lens. So you can see the price points like I was talking about. This is all buy it now, no auctions. I just really get to the meat and potatoes of what this camera's worth. Like I said, between three and four or five hundred dollars, depending on you know if it's really mint condition, you know, if you really think it works very well, if you tested it, things like that. Um, so you can see it's a great value all right let's get back to the video and i'm going to sell this camera between two and five hundred dollars two and four hundred right around there this is an excellent excellent condition all right guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you found this video informative if you were entertained or if you just like what i'm doing please let me know also leave me a like if you like what i'm doing let me know that that lets me know that i'm doing a great job and you're happy with uh what i'm doing i do appreciate that it does help me out quite a bit as always all right, guys, as always, I do appreciate you tuning into your review channel, and I'll see you at the next review.